Hi, I'm Ralph, Aegis Runner, and welcome to episode four on my long run series. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You crush a long run, you feel proud, and then the soreness sets in. Your legs feel heavy, your energy tanks, and by the next day you're wondering, how am I supposed to keep training if I feel this beat up? That's where recovery comes in, and here's the truth. Your long run isn't just about the miles you cover. It's about how well you bounce back afterward. The real progress happens between runs, when your body repairs, rebuilds, and adapts. In this episode, I'll show you what to do right after your run, in the hours that follow, and in the days beyond. You'll learn proven recovery strategies, common mistakes to avoid, and the simple steps that will help you come back stronger. So why is recovery important? Every long run creates stresses on your body. Your muscles experience micro tears, glycogen stores get depleted, your nervous system is taxed, and your joints absorb repetitive impact. That's not a bad thing. It's actually the trigger for improvement. But here's the key, the benefit only comes when you give your body the time and resources to heal. Think of training like digging a small hole. Recovery is when you fill that hole back in and build it higher. Skip recovery and you just keep digging deeper until you burn out or get injured. And recovery isn't passive, it's just not sitting on the couch, although rest has its place. True recovery involves smart fueling, hydration, sleep, active strategies, and listening to your body. The bottom line, Running stresses the system, recovery strengthens it. Skip one side of the equation and you won't reach your potential. Now let's start what to do in the first 30 to 60 minutes after you run. That's the golden window for recovery. Step number one, cool down. Don't just stop abruptly running. Walk or jog lightly for five to 10 minutes to gradually bring your heart rate down, improve circulation, and let your body start to begin clearing that lactic acid. Number two, rehydrate. Long runs drain fluids. Replace what you lost with water plus electrolytes. A simple rule, drink until your thirst is satisfied. And if your run was hot or sweaty, add sodium. Number three, refuel. Your muscles are primed to absorb carbs and protein right after exercise. Aim for a three to one to four to one carbohydrate to protein ratio. Think chocolate milk, a smoothie with fruit and Greek yogurt, or a sandwich with lean protein and a sports drink. This restocks glycogen and starts repairing muscle damage. Number four, gentle mobility. Light stretching or mobility drills can help ease stiffness, especially in the hips, calves, and hamstrings. Keep it gentle. This isn't the time for aggressive stretching. Doing these four things within an hour of your long run sets the stage for faster, smoother recovery. Today, if you're enjoying this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. And once that initial recovery window passes, the next few hours are about supporting your body as it continues to repair. You might think about what I call a contrast shower or cold therapy. Take a cold shower, immerse yourself in an ice bath. Uh, I've never done that. I don't have the courage to do it. My daughter's done it, and I know other runners have done it. Now, research is mixed on this. Some studies show benefits in reducing soreness. Others show minimal impact. But if it feels good for you, it can be part in your, of your toolbox. Think about putting on some compression gear, wearing compression socks or sleeves, may aid circulation and reduce perceived soreness. Again, evidence is mixed, but many runners find it helped. Emphasize rest and relaxation. Don't underestimate downtime. Even lying down with your legs elevated can reduce swelling and improve recovery. Now this is a time to do some foam rolling or percussion massaging. Both tools aim to reduce muscle tightness and improve blood flow. Foam rolling is great for covering large muscle groups like quads, hamstrings, and calves. And percussion massager guns deliver targeted pulses that can ease knots and soreness in specific areas. The key here is balance. You want to reduce soreness and stiffness without overdoing interventions that blunt the body's natural adaptation process. And recovery doesn't end on the day of your run. In fact, how you treat the following 24 to 72 hours is just as important. Consider prioritizing sleep. This is your number one recovery tool. Aim for seven to nine hours per night. Sleep is when the growth hormone is released. Muscle repair happens and your brain resets. Skimp on sleep and your recovery suffers dramatically. Consider an active recovery. Light movement like walking, cycling, or swimming the day after a long run helps flush out waste products and increase blood flow. The key is easy effort. You should feel better after, not worse. And again, continue to emphasize nutrition. Keep focusing on protein for repair and anti-inflammatory foods like salmon, nuts, leafy greens, and berries. What you eat across the next few days influence how quickly you bounce back. And as far as timing your next run, A common guideline is one easy recovery day for every 10 miles of long run. So if you do a 15 mile long run, give yourself one to two days before you even think about going out and doing another run. If the long run was unusually hard or you're older or newer to running, you may need a bit more time. 
Now, you often heard the rule, and I've used it, about wait one day for every mile of a hard run before you do another hard run. And that's a good rule for race recovery, where you really have run hard in the race. So keep that rule in mind if you run a race. Wait one day for every mile of that race before you go out and do another run. Remember, recovery is individual. Listen to your body signals. Now let's cover some of the biggest mistakes runners make with recovery. Number one, skipping the recovery meal. Your body needs fuel as soon as possible, not hours later. Number two, jumping back into training too soon. Hard sessions the day after a long run often backfire. Number three, neglecting sleep. All the gadgets in the world can't make up for lost hours in bed. And number four, treating recovery is optional. Many runners obsess over mileage but ignore the habits that make those miles effective. Remember, training breaks you down, recovery builds you back up. Without it, you're just adding stress without gaining strength. Let's recap. Recovery is when your body adapts and grows stronger from your long runs. In the first hour, cool down, rehydrate, refuel, and move gently. In the hours that follow, consider compression, foam rolling, and downtime. Over the next few days, focus on sleep, active recovery, and smart nutrition. Avoid the common mistakes of neglecting fuel, piling on too much too soon, or ignoring rest. Recovery isn't wasted time. It's the secret weapon that keeps you running stronger, longer, and injury-free. In our next episode, we'll talk about progression, how to safely extend your long runs over time, without hitting a wall or overtraining. And if you enjoyed this video and found it informative, I really appreciate it if you scroll down and hit that like icon. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you stick around and be a subscriber. Click that subscribe icon also. Again, I'm Ralph, the Ageless Runner. I'm here to help you run smarter, go longer, and stay ageless. Thank you.